Hello, y'all. It's Todd from Report Yourself. How's everybody doing today? Well, guys, this morning I've got a load of wood behind me. I don't know if you can see it back there. I'll show it to you in a minute. We got some uh, Wilma 12s on there, some Wilma 6s. What I did is I traded some uh, lumber for a bunch of logs. So I'm bringing wood back to him and hauling logs back the other direction. But guys, I think we got the little truck going. Little Joe's what I've been calling this little truck. I think we got it going where we want to right now. I got my winches all on. Got everything hooked up. I'm still waiting on some... Uh, for your winches, they got some automatic winches. It's controllers for it. It's remote where you can actually be hooking up the log and have the remote in your pocket and work it. I'll show y'all that when we get it. But uh, right now we got to do it manually. I mean, I got I got to be hooked up to the winch. But we're going to try the truck out. Wayne's got the tractor behind him on the trailer. It makes it a lot easier when you got to pull the logs up to get them to the truck. Because this thing, you get it off the highway, that's it. You're there. It don't go nowhere. It is not made to get off the road. It's heavy. But it does a good job hauling the logs. I'll show you the load that we put on it. I can feel the boasters about halfway up before I start, I get about an inch and a half before I start bottoming out. Now I'm wanting to put some overload, uh, not overload spring, overload bags on it. I'll eventually do that. And that way it'll be an air ride and it'll it'll take some of the weight off of the spring to help it out. But guys, we on our way over there. I'm gonna show you the setup when we get there. Check it out and show you how it's working. You can tell by looking in the ditches, we have got water out here. And the sun is actually shining today. It is Friday today. It is a beautiful day. We got a north wind blowing, so it's cool. But I mean, the weather is perfect. Look in the mirrors, you see some of that lumber I've got back there in the back. Got some beautiful Wilma 12s on there. Wilma 12s, Wilma 3s, and Wilma 6s. This is Louisiana Swampland. There is water everywhere. You hit 70 mile an hour in this old truck, you are 100% maxed out. But she runs good. Got a lot of miles on it. Don't take it easy on it. He's on down the road. Give you an idea where I'm at. Oakdale, Louisiana. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Still got water crossing the road. It's finally down so we can pass through. That was third gear instead of first. Got the old standard in it. Had to go back to the old days of changing gears. They strong, don't it? You ain't got to worry about nothing slipping on that transmission. No boy used to pull a dozer with this truck. You got it beefed up big time, so it it's strong. It'll pull. It ain't fast, but it's strong. It's got a 351 cat motor in it. Diesel motor. So it good old truck. But look at it. Almost 260,000 miles on it. ABS lights on. I ain't figured that one out yet. But she's made to work. This ain't no pleasure truck. 5,500 and it's rough. You ain't got nothing behind you. Nothing on the back. It is very rough. Once it's loaded down, it does a lot better. Many of them left. They're hard to find now, but they 
transmission goes out, it's no problem changing the clutch. You pull that transmission back, change that clutch pressure plate, it don't take long. Back on the road again. Automatic transmission, I know nothing about. But a standard transmission, I can rebuild that. You guys, we almost to the store up here. Gotta get a little fuel, get some of that high dollar diesel. Do what we gotta do. Yeah, this is pretty still. All right, guys, I want to show you what the 1x12s look like put up. He's building him a shop right here, closing it in. It doesn't have the baths on it yet. That's what 1x12s look like standing up. This is Ronald Lejeune's. This is what he builds. He builds all the steps, porches, Everything for trailer houses. So the old Oakland, old Oakland Springs store. Ronald Lejeune. Y'all need some steps and hit him up. Guys, I want to show you this log right here. That is a big old log. I don't have a tape measure with me right now, but that thing's everything, every bit of 36. I just can't do, can't do that one. It's too big for my little meal. That is a full-size log. All right, I'm gonna show you the winches, what we got set up now. Winches were way down here. Now we got them set up up there. Got the one on the top. That was for picking it up. That was for pulling it in. That's a snatch block for picking it up. <clears throat> I'll show you how it works in a minute. I got some of the logs loaded on the truck already. I got my tractor here, so I just loaded them with the tractor, so I hadn't been able to show you the winches yet. They give us this tree over here, this big tree right here. It's got a good crook in it, but we can get some good short stuff out of it. It's leaning, leaning heavy that way, so it's pretty much going that way, so that ain't no problem. There's nothing around but a fence right here. So Wayne's fixing to take it down. I'm going to finish the load out with that tree. Wayne trying to chop the tree down. <laughs> nah, I'm just picking. He's just knocking his wedge out. Wayne, where are you putting that tree at? Where are you going to throw that tree at? We'll try to throw it right out that way. All right, let's watch and see what we got. Like I said, she's leaning heavy to the right. He's trying to pull it back to the left a little bit. Good job. Where the car you yeah, was going? You got lucky. <laughs> Good job. I told you right over there. Good job. All right, y'all. We got the log. Wayne's got the tree down. Got it logged out. That's a 16 footer. That's about a 25, 26 inch base on it right there. That log there, we cut a 12 out of it. It's 34 inches. Now we could also take this pine tree right here, which has got a lot of crooks. But guys, look at that oak limb in there. That oak limb is growing into that pine tree. 
When you start cutting that tree right there, that's a Widowmaker above your head. That's one of them we're not gonna mess with. It's a good pine tree, but if you look at that oak limb right there, it is grown into the side of that tree. You'd have to go crawl that tree, throw that oak limb out, then you could cut the tree to be safe. But we're not gonna mess with it. We're gonna leave it alone. about the sun guys I got the winch in my hand the controller I'm trying to film this for you need some more hey give me some flat guys moment of truth this is the first time i went something up with it Let's see if she's gonna hold okay here we go coming in Now we're going to hook the other winch to it and suck it in. All right, what we're going to do now is we got the, like I said, we got that one controller. So we're going to swap it to the bottom one, pull the bottom winch out. We got the log up high enough. We should be able to suck it up on that trailer. I've got the tractor here. Most of the time we use the tractor, but I'm trying to show you how this works to where we can do it without the tractor. That's what we're trying to do. All right, you ready? Let's do it. gonna hook it down in the hook I told Wayne Roll that will not work as soon as we get slack in there it's gonna come off so we gotta go around the log again sucking it up. Go all the way up against that other log and we'll pick it up more. Alright, that's good. And what we're going to have to do is move that front cable back. Get a better bite on it and pick it up. Alright, what we did is move that 
this cable right here back. We still got the front one on, but now we can pick the log up. Go ahead, Wayne. It's got a log in the front, we gotta get over the top. It's a lot slower this way. I'm oh, sorry about that sun, guys. It's bright. It's a lot slower this way, but it can be done. And it looks like it, all our welds and everything's holding. It looks like it's gonna be strong enough. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. I'll show you the log gets all the way up there. But that's how we do it. Little Joe's gonna work. Or old Joe, little Joe, it don't matter. Y'all name it. We got this figured out now though. We get in the bind, we don't have the tracker, we can get logs up there. Definitely strong enough. Guys, we got her up there. It will work. Hope you enjoyed the video. God bless. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.